selfish to say I prayed and prayed. I wanted a, a little girl. I just wanted a little girl because I would know what to teach her. Buy more clothes, you're a princess. <laughs> but you change when you have a son, right, ladies? You think if a girl did that to my son, I'd think that manipulating girl. <laughs> what kind of a mother does she have? And of course, the doctor told me that my eggs were too old. They told me my eggs were scrambled, actually. <laughs> he told me that my eggs had little crow's feet and a little walker. And those little fishies, shh, wait! <laughs> yes, he told me I couldn't have any children, but God had a different plan in mind. Thank you. And I am the mother of a beautiful, I had a little boy, I had a, well, it was, he was 10 and a half pounds. Oh. <laughs> Instead of a birth certificate, they gave him a driver's license. <laughs> People would ask me what did I crave, I said a surrogate mother. <laughs> My body felt like the little Volkswagen in the circus, you know, remember the circus where the clowns all just kept coming out. <laughs> That's a visual, coming out. <laughs> And we, we argued about naming uh, my sweet, precious first angel. We, uh, he, my, the husband wanted to name my son Moses. <laughs> Moses Joseph, so we can nickname him Mojo. <laughs> <laughs> and then I thought I couldn't have another child, but God had an, another idea in mind. So we had our second one. And we called him Oops. <laughs> and then I got spayed. Because <laughs> I'm on the farm, right? I thought that boys would just, you know, boys are just so active. I just didn't know about boys. I didn't know that they just didn't sit still. You know, I had been a beauty queen, so I, I would walk normal. I would just walk like a girl. I would walk lovely, you know, walk lovely. And I'd take my two kids to the mall, and I'm walking, walking, and walking. Where are you? <laughs> They just are so, they were just so active. In fact, I put, I had to put a harness on the two boys. And the church, my church friend at church, she said that um, she couldn't believe that I put a harness on my kids. And I said, well, I just want him to live. <laughs> I didn't know that the boys wouldn't just love each other automatically. I didn't know I had to hypnotize the big one into loving the little one. We love our brother. We do not hurt our brother. We do not put a pillow over our brother's head. And all he could say back to me is red rum, red rum, red rum. And then, of course, they were so active, I put them in front of the TV and Barney was playing back then. Remember Barney and, you know, I always felt like a bad mother because Barney would say to the kids, do you want a piece of candy or an apple? And the kid would say, I want an apple. Not a normal human child. You know they were gonna grow up being some repressed bank robber singing, I hate you, you hate me. I'm in a dysfunctional family with a great big smack and a kick from you to me. Now I'm seeking therapy. 